Beautiful Disaster, 2012 Book 1, Chapter 1 Last Day of Summer Alone, sitting on his bed, Doug Lucas was watching the news on the Weather Network. This was Doug's last day of summer, and he was not happy. He hadn't gone out much because his mom wouldn't let him. His friend Tobin only saw him at least five times over the past two months. When will that darn weather change, he said out loud to himself. It continued to rain over the week, over the past week now. This is yet another reason he wasn't out and about on his last day of school. Tomorrow was his first day of high school, and he was not looking forward to it. The thought of going to school tomorrow haunted him. His mom opened his bedroom door suddenly and set a basket full of laundry on the bed in front of him. Could you put these away for me, she asked him. Yeah, I will, he replied back to his mom, and as she turned, and as she turned to walk away, she replied, bring me the basket when you're done. Doug nodded to himself, rather bored, and looked out the window at the rain, pouring down. As Doug began emptying out his laundry basket, he thought to himself. He needed a girl, a girl that he loved, and she loved him back. And he had gone through all over elementary and middle school with no female friends. He hoped that going into high school would change that. He folded some jeans and put them, and then thought, going into high school, preparing for the worst. Night fell and Doug woke suddenly the, ne the next morning to the sound of thunder outside. He stood up, shut it off his alarm clock before it went off, and pulled back his curtains. It still rained, which didn't surprise Doug. He didn't care anymore. He went, he went and had a quick shower, got dressed, and headed off to school. The time was 10 to 8 o'clock. So Doug had enough time to get to school. Along his walk in the rain, he met a good friend of his named Tobin. Hey, how was your summer, asked Doug. And Tobin appeared suddenly. As Tobin appeared suddenly, the two of them continued up the road. Well, counting the five times I saw you, other than that, crappy, said Tobin, and Doug nodded with agreement. So Doug, you ready for high school, asked Tobin, and Doug laughed. Hardly, he replied, rather loudly. Soon after, they saw the school in the distance. They made their way down the hill towards the school. This is our third year, our third year here. It hasn't changed a bit, said Tobin. They reached the field, stepping over a small fence, and began their walk across the flat field. The only thing I look forward to is seeing friends and being out of this rainy weather, said Doug. After that, the two broke into a run to get out of the rain. To be continued in chapter 2.